Hi there, movie fans, and welcome to another edition of Movies. So this time, I'm going to be reviewing a movie called Talk To Me. Now, this movie is directed by twin brothers Danny and Michael Philippou, who got their break having a very popular YouTube channel, Raka Raka, in Australia. And now this is their debut movie. And I think they're only about 30 or something years old, so it's a real big deal to make a movie at that age. So this is a horror slash thriller movie. It's about a group of kids trying to get more popular and trying to get in with the cool kids. This is all about peer pressure, really. And these guys go through all this to bond. And you, you feel that you need to get on with the cool dudes. Well, the ones who think they're cool anyway. This has a, a new spin on the usual horror theme. Because normally we'd get the use of a Ouija board to contact the spirits. We've seen it so many times before. But this movie tries to be a bit more creative and uses a mummified hand to link to the other side. So the movie is about a group of teenagers in Australia who start messing about with the hand and it allows them to connect to the spirit world. So the deal is you hold the hand and you say, talk to me, and a spirit connects to you. If you say, I'll let you in, you become possessed by a spirit while connected. And it's only safe to stay connected for about 90 seconds, apparently. And you need to make sure you close the door to the other side within this time frame, or else. This movie is really about addiction in a way. It's not about drugs to these teens. They get their buzz from connecting to the other side. The main focus is our lead character, Mia, played very well by Sophie Wilde. Now, she's lost her mum and she's still grieving. The rest of the cast is good and you get the typical annoying teens who really think they're something. So it's very much like real life then. Now, I have to say, horror's not really my thing. I should have got John to review this as he's the horror man. Although I did speak to him yesterday and he wasn't massively impressed with this movie. I mean, I had to get past the teenagers to enjoy this because at first I just found them annoying and all I wanted to do was get hold of them and give them a good slap and tell them to shut the fuck up. But as horror goes, I quite enjoyed it. I didn't get bored like other horrors and as far-fetched as it was, like every other horror there is, this one actually had a story to it. And by that, I mean a comprehensible story. The main character, Mia, had plenty of backstory, which is quite unusual for this genre. There's plenty of atmosphere and chilling music. And for a first movie, this was very well done. It, it seemed to get how annoying teens can be just about right, along with the bravado they have without thinking of any of the consequences. And it was more than just scary jump scenes. It's quite well made with good cinematography. The music keeps the atmosphere going and there's some good acting. I found some of the characters unlikable, but then I suppose they were meant to be unlikable. For a debut movie, this is a winner. I'm impressed that they could make it look this good at movie number one. So it may be worth watching these guys and see what they do next, unless they cop out and do talk to me too. Normally this genre would use, or should I say overuse, jump scares. Sometimes this is a bit of a cop out and used because of no creativity. It's lazy and it's an easy win just trying to make you jump every 15 minutes. This movie only only relies on that for a few jump scares. It's, it's far too clever to rely on these cheap effects. There is more story used here. It's really a horror with the thriller genre added. So I need to rate this. So please remember 
that my rating, my personal rating, is on the premise of me not really being a great fan of horror. So I would say I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. I think most horror-loving people, John accepted, obviously, would probably go higher unless they prefer the nonsensical films in this genre. It kind of sounds like I'm putting horror down here, but it's purely a case of this genre is not my favourite. I get far more pleasure personally from other genres. I only watch horror now and again, and I must confess, I quite like this one. And that's a wrap. If this genre is your bag, if you're really into horror, then go and see it. And I think if, if like me, horror's not your favourite, you could still be entertained by this. So give it a go. Thanks for watching. We would love it if you could give us a like or a subscribe. Please feel free to comment. We love to get feedback. And hopefully you'll tune in next time for more of our amateur movie reviews.